Yes, hello everybody, this is Ray from Race United and I'm back again. You know how we do our things. Anyway, I'm going to go straight to the point. This is going to be about mainnet migration. Mm -hmm. Mainnet migration. So, I said a lot about mainnet migration. However, some people didn't understand it in my live show. Some people did, of course. A lot of people did. A few didn't, but you know they couldn't ask the question. So I thought, you know what? For the purposes of benefit to them, let me release this particular video just for them and all of you as well. So as you're watching, please share the content on all of your social media platforms, which are, you know, supporting Pi and my my, my um, community as well. So I'll be talking about <clears throat> mainnet migration, of course, and I'll be talking about Pi apps. I'll also be talking about open network. Do you know what I'm saying? However... Without further ado, guys, smash that like button. Smash the subscriber button. You know how we do our things. Share the content. You know, if you haven't yet shared it, share it. And then finally, if you haven't yet become a member, become a member. Help the channel grow. Keep advocating that. Keep preaching that. It helps a lot. Guys, I will be right back. <laughs> All right, all right, I'm back. Now I'm going to talk about mainnet migration. And this is one of the most important phases of this whole process. Listen, mainnet migration is actually going to be the next major milestone on the march to open network. Remember that, that is actually a quote from Nicholas Kokalis. I mean, Dr. Nicholas Kokalis. So what did he say? He said, mainnet migration is the next major milestone on the march to open network. Trust me when I say this was a quote that gave me goosebumps because it's the next major milestone. So we need to get everything right, which means that KYC has to be done. I mean, so many people have to get their KYCs done before we can actually get to the we, have, we can actually get to mainnet migration, which I'm going to explain very, very soon. Um, if you watch my previous live show, you would realize that I actually explained a bit there. Um, actually went in detail, but, you know, live shows are such that people tend to miss certain things you say because they might have arrived late and they feel like it's too long to watch it uh, as a replay. So, you know, if I give you a short video like that, you would understand when I say what or when I explain what mainnet migration is all about. So what is mainnet migration? Well, mainnet migration is a process. It's a, it's a process where in the whole open network process or procedure where once your KYC, your pie is moved or migrated from where it's at, that's your transferable pie is migrated from where it's at to your pie wallet. And therefore, after that, you will be able to use it on the enclosed network for now on the enclosed network uh, to you know buy goods and services you understand um now somebody will be asking so what will happen then whilst you know that's happening well remember we some of us might have locked up a certain amount it could be 25 percent 50 percent 90 percent 100 percent for a certain amount of time however you've locked up will be subtracted from your 100 percent so if you have thousand pi you lock up 90%, you only have 100 pi that will be migrated from where it's at to your um, your uh, 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 your pie wallet. You get what I'm saying? So that's exactly what pie, uh, mainnet migration is. It's just the, the transfer or the movement or the migration of your pie, your transferable pie, the pie that's left to your pie wallet. You get what I'm saying? So that's what's going to happen in this process. Now, that will all depend. Like I said, I'm repeating myself. It will depend on KYC. So that's why the process of KYC is important. Do you understand? The process of KYC is extremely important. That's why you get your documents, the right documents, and ensure that once you're prompted, you're there to get your KYCs done. So the more people that get KYC'd, the quicker it is for us to move from where we're at during the process of uh, uh, mainnet migration to where we're going to, which will be the next step, which I'll, spoke, I'll speak about somewhere down the line in this segment, all right? I will be right 
back. All right, I'm back. Now, what I want to talk about is actually about Pi apps. Now, Pi apps, trust me, um, when all these are happening, when we've done the migration and stuff, it's going to precede it. It's going to precede it. So we would see most of the Pi apps actually being activated. Now, um, so the Pi apps are certain to be released. Remember that this is a timeline that I can give because that was also stated by Nicholas Kokali. So now, the Pi apps are certain to be released in the second quarter of this year. This is a significant timeline. So second quarter is 1st of April to the 30th of June. 1st of April to the 30th of June is the second quarter. So we should expect within this timeline, the Pi apps to be released into our economy. So me personally, I would say the Pi app will be released you know, I'll give you my day, end of April. Because I have a timeline in my head. I have a timeline in my head, which I'll be talking with you about for, as time goes on. But I have a timeline in my head, and that's my own timeline. This is not even from my sources, it's just my own timeline. And that is the fact that I believe Pi Apps will be released sometime in, uh, towards the end of, um, uh, uh, towards the end of April, which will still be within the first quarter, the first month of the first quarter. You get what I'm saying? So that is what, sorry, the second quarter, the sec first month of the second quarter. That's what's going to happen, you know. So let's expect that Pi Apps to be released within that time. If it doesn't, then I raise my hand. I'm wrong, but I'm, I will not be wrong with this one because within the next few days, a lot of things are going to happen very fast and you would actually see it happening. You know what I mean? So keep an eye on your Pi app. Make sure you get your notification. I mean, your um, Pi account. Make sure you get your notification and make sure you see your notification. When you see it, your 15 minute window is up. It starts running. It starts counting. And then once it counts, you get your KYC done. So we can have this uh, mainnet migration process happening quicker than we think. I will be right back. All right, I'm back. There is still a whole lot of work to be done before open network. There is still a whole lot of work to be done before open network. But we are on our way. But we are on our way. These are quotes from Dr. Nicholas Kokalis. That's what he said when he broke the news of the fact that we are uh, 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 rolling the KYC solutions out. When he broke that news, that's what he, his quotes are. And I wrote it down because I knew somewhere down the line, I'm going to use it for this segment that I mean. Now, this is the open network segment. I, I, I'll be releasing some video about open network somewhere down the line. But right now, it's within this segment. Now, what I want to tell you about this is mainnet migration, listen, it, it, it's, it's going to happen sometime within this Within the second quarter, it's going to happen. Pi apps is going to happen within the second quarter. Now, open network, on the other hand, depending on how KYC roll out. Remember, I said it's a domino effect. When I, you know, other videos I've told you, it's, it's a domino effect. So it could happen. It could happen. Uh, open network by Pi today. Pi today. However, it's all dependent on the domino. If the domino falls later, then it would affect the timeline for open network because we've got three things that we want to happen. Right now, we want um, the KYC process to speed up. At the moment, it's going at a very relatively slow pace, after which mainnet migration would take place and Pi Apps 3 would also be released. Now, these could happen within the second quarter of the year, which is April, May, and or June. However, if these don't happen within that time period, then open network will be moved forward. Sorry, it will be moved back. It will be pushed back. If that happens, then it will be moved forward or it will be maintained as planned for June 28th, Pi Today, because that's supposed to be a big day for Pi or for our community. You understand what I'm saying? So this is where we're at at the moment. So let's expect KYC to speed up <clears throat> and let's from there, it becomes a domino effect. It will start falling. So mainnet migration will follow. Then Pi Apps will also follow within the second quarter of 2022. And then we would expect Open Network to follow almost immediately after those. All right? I will be right back. 
All right, I'm back. I'm not going to uh, have a, give you a long conclusion. It's going to be a very quick one. So what did I speak about? I spoke about mainnet migration, which I said that we all going to ensure that, you know, it's done. And to do that, you know, we need to get our KYCs done. And to do that, we need to keep an eye on our app. So when we get the notification, boom, we get it done. Do you understand? We get it done. But then again, within this process, this is what our founder said. He said, mainnet migration is the next major milestone on the march to mainnet. Sorry, to open network. It's the next major milestone on the march to open network. Just bear that in mind whilst you're contemplating. You know, whilst you're reflecting, bear that in mind. The next major milestone is mainnet migration. So don't take it for granted. KYC is supposed to get done. I'll keep talking about KYC in every single pie video I do until I realize a lot of people have got it done. And then, of course, I spoke about the pie apps, which will be released in the second quarter. So we don't know when, but we know it's going to be April, May or June and or June. One of them It could be released at that time. And then this dominoes will fall immediately to the open network, which we know a lot of work has to be done before that. And those work, works are what I've just stated to you previously. KYC solutions getting done. Um, mainnet migration, Pi apps also getting released in the second quarter. All right? And then when m most of these works have been done, we know that we're on our way. Okay? Let's be one big happy family. I love doing what I do for you guys. The name is Ray. The channel is Ray's United. And the word is peace. <laughs> Love y'all.